pretty, she just looks that way. Yeah. That's their hit from 1990, She Ain't Pretty. Now the Canadian band, the Northern Pikes, are back. They're recording their new album right here in Calgary at Studio Bell, home of the National Music Centre. Joining us to talk more about it, band members Jay Semko and Don Schmidt. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, hey, Dallas. Yeah, so you. exciting to have you guys here. And you guys are actually playing a show this weekend. But before we talk about it, it's sold out, right? <laughs> it is sold out, yes. And thank you, Calgary, for that. We appreciate it. Yeah, looking forward to that. So uh, 30 years since you guys uh, released your first album. And you got that was last year, 2017, yes. marked the 30-year anniversary. What was that like, and how did you guys mark it? Well, Universal Music, which now we were signed to Virgin Records, but it's now Universal, Universal Music, and they put out a triple album package, which is the original Big Blue Sky album. There's a second album of 10 unreleased songs, mm -hmm. and a third album, which is Live at the Horseshoe from 1986, and they're all different colored, colored vinyl. vinyl. Yeah, red so one. that's oh, the that's Live fun. at the Horseshoe right there. So people can uh, buy that if they want to, if they want uh, to get a hold of that. Yeah. I don't want to touch any of that vinyl. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's on our website as well as um, through MusicVaults.com. You can purchase the album. Yeah. And you guys have been touring pretty consistently as well, right? We have. We did our first Cross Canada tour in many years in support of the Big Blue Sky Supersized. That's what it was, the official name, Big Blue Sky mm -hmm. 30th Anniversary Album. And so that was October, November. And during the course of that trip, we played actually a couple of shows in Calgary. And we were able to, one of them being at the King Eddie oh, great. at yeah. Studio Bell National Music Center. And we got a tour of the facility and we were knocked out with, uh, with the vibe there and the vintage gear that exists there. They have the Rolling Stones original mobile recording truck. They have uh, the Trident room, which we're working in, which is the Trident uh, recording console used by people like David Bowie and many others up through the years and uh, it's just a really warm beautiful sound and there's a big live room and we like recording all of us in the same room live off the floor and that's what we've been doing. Yeah so you've been recording your new album your first one since 2003 and mm -hmm. you've been talking about that space. Um, how long are you going to be in Calgary recording this new album? When can we expect to hear it? Well, we've been here for a week already. We're doing a 10-day session now. It's probably the first start of it. We'll probably do another 10 days, possibly in July. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at an early 2019 release. We're not, too, we're not rushing it in any way. We want to make sure that it's exactly how we want it to be. So. What does it sound like? I think it sounds very different. I think Pike fans will be surprised. Yeah. Well, it's still, you know, we're still a vocal-heavy band. We concentrate on a lot of harmonies. We have uh, Kevin Kane from The Grapes of Wrath. Uh, working as our fourth guy. So there's three original members, Don Schmidt, Brian Potvin, and myself, mm -hmm. and Kevin. So there's a lot of three-part harmonies. There's it's two guitars, bass, and drums. At the end of it all, we're a rock band. And yeah. That's what we do. But really, we, we're really stretching our musical boundaries. I'm finding on the recordings that we do, we're going from everything, everything that's really heavy to really folky to really pop and everything in between. So it's pretty fun. Pretty fun recording brand new music. Talking about stretching your boundaries, um, the National Music Center has like a historical artifact section, and you say you've been using some of the pieces from in there? Well, yeah, David Foster donated a grand piano that's right in the room that Jay mentioned, where we're all surrounded by this grand piano that has probably a hundred signatures of Glenn Fry and Chuck Berry and all uh, famous musicians. It's amazing. That's incredible. Yeah. And there's a lot of ancient uh, synths, which we've just scratched the surface of in some mm -hmm. Mellotron stuff. We've had Kevin, he actually played a couple of vintage keyboards in the last couple of days. And uh, it's really fun. I mean, Mellotrons, they work on, on tape. So you have a X amount of seconds of tape when you hit the, hit the key. It's, it's quite an art to playing it. And, Kevin's been figuring it out, and we've there's, we're just, like I say, we're just scratching the surface on the on the vintage keyboards that are available to play there. I want to know what the biggest comments are you get from your fans. Is there one thing well, consistently over and over again people say to you guys? Well, it's interesting now because we've been together for quite a long time, so we have fans bringing their children to shows, which is, I mean, that didn't happen 30 years ago. So it's quite interesting, the younger kids getting into the music now, which is great, really. That's well, it's neat when you can have... Uh, a spot in somebody's life where they say, mm -hmm. well, yeah. I met my husband at your gig or uh, something like to that effect, or I met my, f my first husband at your gig. Or yeah, <laughs> we hear that occasionally. <laughs> yeah. 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 You'll hear that, you yeah. know, but yeah. that, that kind circle. of stuff. But no, to, right. to know yeah. that you had a, uh, a part in somebody's life is, is really pretty cool. 
Mm -hmm. I wish you guys a great, fantastic show this weekend. Thank you. Once again, it's sold out. But if you do want to follow the band and their journey as they record a new album, you can go to northernpikes.com. Thanks again, guys. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Tyler.